So here's the challenge. We are playing Battleship, but in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We each have a box full of only Pokemon you can obtain in the DLC. Some are good, some are not so good. <laughs> the left side is gonna be A through E, and the top is one through six. And so just like Battleship, we're gonna select each other's teams by calling out numbers, and after six, we're gonna fight. And I really hope that I get lucky on this. <laughs> All right, my boy Cypher's gonna flip a coin to get us started. Um, I'm gonna call Tails, because I wanna go first, and Tails never fails, baby. Let's get it. We got the Unova starters for heads, Pokeball, or Pokeball for tails. Let's get it. <gasps> oh, we got heads this time. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna make an alpha move. Not a lot of people do this, but I'm gonna do it. I'm going A1. Ooh, the most A1 Mon literally in the game. I, I put this here because I knew you were gonna do that. So I appreciate that, my dude. There's no shot. They're, nah, you're bluffing. You you are bluffing. I've never I've never heard a bigger bluff in my life. Listen, you know what? You went A1. I'm going to go B1. How about that? Okay, I'm not going to lie. Listen, this Pokemon, I had high doubts about. I had such high doubts. But this one, I am honestly confident. But I, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. I'm going to go give me D4. D4. All right, okay. Okay, this is this is an interesting one. I don't know if this thing's gonna gonna work too. I mean, you know, it, it always works actually. Who am I kidding? We're take. We're, I'll take it. All right, my selection is going to be E six. You, you know, there's a lot of Pokemon in this game that I do like. A lot of them I don't like, and this just falls in the category I don't like it. There's not really a lot I could do with it, but. You know what, man? Like, you can spell a lot of things backwards, but you can't spell champ backwards. Or else it just sounds like champ. Next selection, I'm going to go B4. The time before, or the land B4 time. Give it to me. You could say, you could say that. It's, it's definitely, a, definitely a dinosaur. And you're going to regret, you're going to regret that one. Let's go C6. I'm going with the sixes. I feel like you got some trash in your sixth row, and that's what I'm really looking for. C6? Okay. You, you know what? You're right. This this thing is not great. I'm a little nervous, man. I, I, I don't think you're... I don't think I'm going to win. My team's looking pretty heat so far. I'm just going to have you start doing this for every time I build a team, because so far, I'm feeling we've pretty, got a pretty good core going here. It's my pick. All right, give me, I'm going to go, give me E1. E1, that's going to be a perfect pick. E1, okay. This thing actually is kind of, I, I needed this guy. You know, this is one of my favorite mons to play with currently. So I, I will take it. I'm familiar with how this fella works. So I'm ta <laughs> I'll take it. Thank you for that. You know what I am familiar with? A good old D2. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say this. I don't know, I don't understand why this, I'm, I'm gonna give you a good hint. I don't understand why this Pokemon is in the OU tier, but it is. But you know what? I'm about to find out of why it's in there. So, you know, solid pick. Solid pick for D2, I'll take it. All right, you know what? I'm feeling a little explosive on this play. Give me C4. We have B4, D4, give me C4. Okay, all right, he's going really going with the four method today. And uh, I gotta say, I appreciate it. Kind, kind of. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go A5. So, this Pokemon I've just recently used is a staple in the Pokemon series. I'm confident. I love this. Last Pokemon. Mm. Okay. Give me A6. Ooh, A6. Okay. This is a Pokemon that has gotten a whole lot better with the DLC. And uh, we'll see if we can get this bad boy to show why. All right, to finish off your team, I'm gonna go with, uh, has there any, is there any row that I haven't chosen for you? Give me D6. D6. <laughs> uh, okay, listen, there is one Pokemon I didn't want you to select, right? And, and this one is the second I didn't want you to pick, but this Pokemon got a move that makes it better and I'm going to find out if that's true or if it's false.
teams are selected, and it is time to d d d d do it. I can't believe he actually selected the magic card. I shouldn't have put it in B4. That's such an obvious. Everybody says before. It's a word. <laughs> God damn it. Well, let's get it, boys. It's time. My team, you know, honestly, it could be worse. Like, we have the magic card, but Loki, as long if he doesn't have Stealth Rock, I can conserve that thing as Focus Ash and, like, see if I can get it to do some stuff. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Moral of the story is I do have two Focus Sashers. I really hope he didn't get a Stealth Rocker. Um, I, I'm not feeling super confident, but I also have Aurora Veiled, you know, Ninetales. So. Things actually going to be pretty clutch. We can get, get a little bit more bulk on our side, which honestly the team doesn't look horrible. He has ooh okay, oh my magic carp! <laughs> I got the magic carp play. Oh my god, let's go! Oh no, he has the Rabombi. He's going to have sticky web. He also has a mammoth swine. Uh oh, I do not have a spinner. We selected Arbok, which is good for us. He has fur it. Oh no, dude, it's, it's gonna be tidy up for it. Well, we both got mammal swines. <laughs> I can't believe. <sighs> well, okay. I really hope he doesn't get up Stealth Rock. And in order to get him to not set up Stealth Rock, I'm gonna just straight up lead Conk Elder. I'm leading Conk. I'm gonna knock off some stuff. I feel like he's gonna go mammal swine. And if I could somehow get Magikarp to get a kill in this, <laughs> it would be the craziest thing of all time. It has Flail and a Focus Sash, so you know, if I could get some chip on some stuff, get knocked down to Sash and, and Flail, we're in the money, boys. He leads Furret, okay. That's fine, I'm honestly fine with that. He um, <laughs> does not want to deal with Conkelder, that is for sure. So, if it does frisk me, sees my Flame Orb, but I mean, that is fine. I can essentially... Go for a free knockoff here, as he can't really afford to leave this thing in, to be honest. And <laughs> unless he wants to, like, body slam. Yeah, no, he's going to get the hell out of there. Uh, he was probably expecting me to go Mammoth Swine, as he was going to maybe, like, trick me a scarf and then try to tidy up after I set up my Stealth Rock. Anyway, he brings in this, brings in the Flying Dutchman, <laughs> the Dutchman, who is not going to enjoy the knockoff here. <laughs> Please don't go for the knockoff. Oh, no. Oh, no. And, uh, hey, that's pretty good. We get some solid damage there. Knock off the Choice ba choice Banded Dusknoir. This thing gets Poltergeist and stuff. Dusknoir looks cooler than it is. It's not It's not great. But I really don't... I'm not afraid of this thing, to be honest. I think I just... We're knocking off again, baby. <laughs> Does go for that Poltergeist. And, uh, attacking me with my own Flame Orb. As, uh... Yeah, it knocks me down to, like, half, but... We do get to it, basically, we take care of the Dusknoir for free. That's fine. I mean, not for free. It's free real estate, though, baby. Let's go. We're out here. We're feeling veiny and burnt, which is uh, an average an average day for you, boy. And uh, what does he have as an answer for Conkelder? Dude, Guts Mock Punch just does a lot. Now he goes to Rabombi. Now, listen, this thing... This is the mod he was talking about. It's OU for some reason. This thing is Sticky Webs. It's also... Could potentially be Quiver Dance. I am afraid of it. <laughs> but the good news is I have two Focus Sashers. One in the form of fucking Magikarp, dude. Let's go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for another knockoff. Dude, I'm literally playing knockoff simulator, and I'm honestly fine with that. It is just going to just straight up move bust. I, it, that's fine. I was If he Quiver Danced there, that's where shit gets scary. So I just let him knock out Conkelder. Probably could should have conserved that thing for Mach Punch. It was good against his Mammoth Swine. You know, that was not ideal, but I can now, I have a couple options. I could go into Alolan Ninetales, I could go into Mamoswine. I think I'm going to go, man, this Rabombi's kind of a threat to the squad, I'm not even going to lie. I think I'm going to bring in, I'm going to bring in Alolan Ninetales, I'm going to be able to get up the Aurora Veil. With that light clay, it's going to stick around, we basically get two screens for one, baby. And also we make it snow here on a sunny day, so... I will go for that Aurora Veil. And this thing can't really threaten me that much. Rabombi's such a weird sleeper Pokemon, dude. I hate this thing. It is going to still be... Okay, so it's Sticky Web. Which means it's likely not Sweeper. So this is fine. Get up the Aurora Veil. We do have to deal with this... Yeah, fucking st 
sticky web being up is extremely unfortunate, and I also have no hazard control. So we do at least get the screens up, and now at this point, I'm just going straight for a blizzard, baby. I'm talking damage out here. I don't know if he wants to leave Rabombi in. If it's already gotten its sticky web up, it already took care of Conkelder, which is a good check too, so... We'll see what he decides to do here. Regardless, oh, it is Quiver Dance still, even. Okay. Um, I see you. Going for the setup, even with the screens up. This thing's also probably Focus Sash, then. So we're seeing Moonblast, Quiver Dance, Sticky Web. Probably has one more for coverage, and damn it, it doesn't even, it's not even a two-hit KO. Oh, God. This thing can't knock me out, actually. Dude, if I could get Magikarp in to kill this thing, hold on. That would be insane. With my screens up, I should honestly be fine. I'm just clicking Blizzard again. Goes for the Moonblast through the screen after pl Oh, no, 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 no. Not the crit, dude. Let's go, a crit! We needed that! Robombi going crazy! Bruh. <laughs> Is it time to bring in the goat and try to get the flail? Is it time? Oh, this is not good. Come on, Magikarp. It's your time to shine, buddy. I'm never putting the Magikarp on the B4 slot ever again. Shiny Magikarp is looking metallic as shit in this game. And uh, we love to see it. We get caught in some sticky web, but we're still just flopping around crazily. Um, I have this thing as Terra Ground, just in case of electric moves. But... Uh, Basically, I get knocked down to my sash here and click flail. It's at half health, so it's like... <sighs> this magic card isn't going to be able to do shit. I am max attack, though, so... watch. Check out this big boy flail. Give me a crit, Carp. Come on now. Let's go! <laughs> it does actually kill it. Let's go! <laughs> flail? Magikarp with the kill, dude, taking out the Rabombi. This is the greatest Magikarp that has ever lived. Let's go. I honestly underestimated the Carp. I think it was a freaking B over there. We were fight. We had that kill easy, baby. Let's go. Unfortunately, now we have a Furret, who could be a real McAsshole and start to... This thing got access to Tidy Up in this DLC, and it... Gets, gets rid of hazards, but also gives an attack and speed boost, which is scary. But what I can do is, if it does decide to go for that tidy up, I can just flail here again and just try to get some damage. The Magikarp, unfortunately, is just sitting here as like a setup fodder. He does go for that tidy up, so... Busts out the old brooms. Cleans off the battlefield, even though... It does actually get rid of his own sticky... <laughs> tidy up complete. He didn't know that he got rid of his own sticky web. Harp kill. Alright, we go for the tidy up. Oh no! This- Oh, I'm dumb! Why? Why did I do that? Oh! Why? Oh, that's actually amazing. And Carp gets to get another flail. Let, look at the damage! The critical hit! Dude, this magic carp is actually the best thing ever. <laughs> Let's go! Uh, but unfortunately now he just gets to knock out the carp. But, I mean, is there a chance that we can save the carp? Probably not. I, I can't really risk switching into anything here. This thing's gonna hurt. We're just clicking flail again on the off chance that y'all... Oh, oh, he's even going for the Terra. My man is looking for that Furret damage. Let's go. I'm honestly jealous that he got... I selected his Furret for his team. I wanted to use this thing, for real. Does go for the Terra normal. Uh, tidy up. Plus one attack and speed. This thing is a threat. And, uh... It's just gonna finish me off with the knockout. Which... So now the problem is, what do I bring in here? I mean, I kind of have to, I could go Croconaut, or I could go Croconaut, I could go Crodont, Aqua Jet, or Mammoth Swine is guaranteed Focus Ash. I think I just do, I'm fair, listen, this is a Furret. I'm not that afraid of this thing. He has a diamond on his head. Looking pretty iced out though. I'm not even gonna lie, this Furret do be kind of fresh. Actually, doesn't Aqua Jet kill here? Oh Jesus. We're going Terra Water to be safe. <laughs> I don't know, listen, I don't know Furret Calcs. I haven't played against a Furret since 1997. And uh, hopefully, <laughs> I mean, with the, with the Terra, adaptability, life orb. This Croconaut is about to eat this, eat this Furret's ass for real. Pause. B 
big ol' aqua jet. I will not be getting swept by tidy up for it today, but I do appreciate you tidying up the sticky webs. <laughs> that was that was very nice of you. You're a you're a great friend for it. Okay. Now, honestly, Crawbat looking kind of nice here. Does have Mike Wazowski, unfortunately, who you know is a bit of a threat. Got the Arbok in the back. And a Mammal Swine. I do need to conserve Croconaut. Or Cro oh, I can't. Crawdot. Jesus. Um, problem is... Nothing really wants to come in on this thing. I do need to conserve the Crawdot, though. For real. This I do not have a lot of options here, boys. I am low on options. It basically becomes, who do I want to die? I think... Here's what I'm going to do. I think I let... Oh, he bulked up. Let's go. My man expected the switch. Goes for the bulk up. So we get a big knockoff here. Uh, this thing is definitely going to be water absorbed, right? This thing does look like Mike Wazowski, for real. We get a big old knockoff. That is a critical hit. Let's go. And uh, also gets rid of the life orb. So this is actually nice. Although it did... But the bulk up is kind of scary, honestly. Um, but now we just basically... Oh, no. It's drain punch. <gasps> we lived it with nine. But the knockoff already got rid of its item, so that's not ideal. It's gonna bring it, bring it up a bit. So we're, we're still gonna have this thing to the point where Mammoth Swine can definitely knock it out with an earthquake question mark. I lose some HP and go down, but honestly, that's fine. No more drain punches for you. So I used my Terra there, but it is what it is. I kind of forgot about Polyrath. I'm not even gonna lie to you. So if he didn't have a bulk up, he probably has Ice Punch for Torterra. I think I just have to go. Sash Mamoswine here. Uh, we get a big old earthquake. He has a Mamoswine of his own, which is actually really bad. I was counting on the fact that I could potentially get a Shell Smash with Torterra. If I still had my Terra Fire, that would be that would be good. But you know, we just click Earthquake here. We do out speed. It's got a bulk up. It's gonna live that. Ah! But it liquidations rather than the Drain Punch, which is actually good. There's no way this thing has priority. It probably gets like Vacuum Wave, but. There's no way he, he has priority here, so. We basically Earthquake to finish this thing off. And then he can't bring in Arbok. He has to bring in his own Mamoswine. It's two to two right now, boys. It is coming right down to it. It's two to two. He has Mamoswine and Arbok left. If he goes Arbok, we get easy Earthquake. He's already used his Terra. No shenanigans gonna be happening there. If he goes his own Mamoswan, we kind of have to risk a speed tie, but then Torterra basically just lose. I think I just lose to his Mamoswine in the long run, but he's going to go Manny on Fort. On, on Fort. And uh, we got a couple of face painted fellas here. So essentially, we just Icicle Crash here, unless this is actually, mine's oblivious. It is his Thick Fat Earthquake is the better play, but... I think I lose to this Mammoth Swine, man. I need a big crit. Or, Ice Will Crash Flinch, let's go. No, he just Ice Shard. Okay, that makes sense. I was like, if he doesn't have the Ice Shard priority, nah, we're good there. But now it's just Torterra against a freaking Ice Boy. I blame Magikarp. <laughs> but honestly, I mean, he, Magikarp killed more than Torterra did, so it is what it is. Well, my last Pokemon does not enjoy ice. And, uh,. <laughs> That is not ideal. Does go for the Ice Shard, and that knocks me out. Four times weak to Ice. If I still had my Terra, the Terra Fire would have been so nice there, dude. Damn it. Well, that's going to be the game. If I was able to get a Shell Smash up, we would have had uh, would have had a better and easier time. But honestly, really fun match. I have lost the round one of, of the battleship. But, you know, it was fun. It was fun. <laughs> it was about the friends we made along the way. And I'm now better friends with Magikarp. If you enjoyed this type of video, let me know. Leave a comment. I do appreciate all the support, guys. And uh, I will see you next time. Peace out.